Today, we're gonna take a look at the P.E.K.K.A. Super Wizard Smash, all right? And I've got two different versions to show you guys, so make sure you hang in there for both versions. Version number one, we're gonna be using a Yeti Bomb inside of a blimp. Now, we're gonna pick a section of the base that we can just cut out with this Yeti Bomb. This time, I'm gonna go for the Eagle. Now, we haven't started a Grand Warden Walk or anything else yet. We're gonna wait for that Yeti Bomb to do its job. We're gonna funnel the buildings behind it and create a nice direction for our queen to walk. Look at this, we've started the queen right here. Now now she's going to start walking to the right. We're going to use the king over here. We've already started him. He's working his way into the base to funnel the other side. Now we got to deal with those enemy clan castle troops. Sometimes if something more dangerous comes out, I might, uh, you know, end up dropping some P.E.K.K.A.s or something to distract like this, man. We're trying to kill that hound. So I actually dropped some super wizards with her because they will take care of those lava pups so much faster than just the queen alone. And now we got P.E.K.K.A.s and super wizards heading into the base. We're going to start jumping our way through to the town hall now i don't want to open up too much access i want to continue them on the direction that they're going in fact if i could do this again i wouldn't even open up this multi-target inferno compartment yet so the troops wouldn't have split up right there but we got the town hall down now we're going to jump them through to the next section and here we go man they're going to be moving their way back there to that next multi-target inferno we got the royal champion coming in on the side we got several free spells with this comp this can be to help you get the town hall kill uh, stop a scatter shot from killing all your super wizards or of course if you still have them left keep a bunch of heavy damage stuff off of your royal champion allowing her to survive as long as possible and really help you nail down the triple on the back end of the base now look at this man we still got pekka's alive we still have every single one of our heroes alive unfortunately i did have to use my royal champion ability but look at these healers man sticking with the pekka's sticking with the heroes they're kind of nullifying that scatter shot damage right there we've even got a super wizard still alive stepping up next to the queen doing damage those structures on the back side of the base and look at this man this is not looking too shabby this dude is very well upgraded man he actually uh he's got me put to shame as far as upgrades go my goodness man those tesla's are maxed out i don't see those very often anymore look at this man those are beautiful new tesla's and look at this dude we have so many pekkas we got the queen still alive she still has her ability we got cleanup working over on the right hand side we can already see it's just a matter of time we basically still got an entire army left on this attack because we had some really nice pathing on this base how many times you guys see this one in legends league man i see this one so much it's not even funny we're gonna start opposite of the town hall we're gonna yeti bomb this eagle artillery compartment we're immediately gonna start the queen behind just directly at six o'clock let her trim out the buildings on the outer edge the yeti bomb's not gonna take care of and she can just determine which way she wants to walk man i don't care if she goes to the right i don't care if she goes to the left i'm not dropping my king or my super wall breakers to open up walls until i'm 100 percent sure i know which way she's gonna go now at this point i think she still might backtrack for this elixir storage she continues walking this direction so we're gonna drop her healers she hadn't even been taking any damage before that and getting the super wall breakers in we got the bk working on the outer edge baby dragon even further funneling that outer edge and we got the bk moving in you can't always do that but if it's a clear-cut outer group of structures then you can usually manage to get the bk to go in and really help out with your core push now we got this jump kind of off centered i want them more towards the town hall over here but we do need to open up access to this multi-target inferno in the core if we don't open it up the queen's just going to sit there and beat on the wall anyways now we use that grand warden ability basically to save our queen from dying immediately now while they're invincible she gets a healer swap that means our queen is going to be surviving even longer all right second jump opens up access to the town hall royal champion is going to reinforce those troops but that town hall does a ton of damage man if my troops are taking it too hard from that town hall there i just drop a freeze spell make sure they all have more health remaining even after that town hall is gone now queen's ability has already been used she's probably gonna get killed if she faces off this enemy queen but look at this we got a pekka tanking the queen right now while my queen is taking her out she does a ton of damage so i'm gonna keep her in that multi on ice so my queen can get the kill before she dies and that's gonna allow my royal champion to stay alive because that enemy queen's not there to thug her up she can pop her ability and guys we got enough rc power left on this to finish off the last couple defenses on this base we got one mortar left on the outside we're gonna go ahead and take that out with a loon then it's gonna die to that air defense but look at this man dude pekka's tanking the ground bow dude oh my gosh we can already tell we got plenty of army left this base is toast
Now guys, here's that second army composition that I was telling you about. So this is going to be highly base specific, man. Can you actually get some decent value out of a warden walk? What do you think? On this one, we got a nice, simple, pretty easy warden walk. And I just want to focus on one of these sides because I really want to get all the way to the town hall. We're going to be using wall breakers. We're going to be using jumps, but we're also going to be sending that log launcher through there as well because it's going to open up more walls further on the back side of the base. And it's going to deposit some extra troops in the core where they can do some some great damage in this case it's going to be depositing a couple yetis in this double single target inferno compartment right here and those yeti mites should be integral on getting those singles taken out so the rest of my tanks super wizards can stay alive and get that town hall really taken out now i'm trying to get them all towards the town hall with no distractions so i'm not opening up the scatter shot compartment although i do know my super wizards and my queen can reach it they can take it out along the way but i don't want them to get distracted from their town hall mission now look at this out here on the right man we got point defenses we're gonna start tanking that and taking it out with the royal champion all right this core push actually it's not even a core push it's a side push it is really heavily focused on getting the town hall down and actually still having some troops alive at the end of that so my royal champion is gonna have to step up and take out a big section of the base but with no major defenses over there other than one scatter shot which isn't nearly as good as like a single at taking out my royal champion uh we're not gonna worry about it that much we got the skellies we got the freezes we've got at the royal champion ability and look at this rc taking out half of the base man queen's gonna come over and help town hall already went down over on this side and look at this side is so brutal man that town hall section with the tornado trap dude we had so many pekkas and super wizards over there man but that section has almost destroyed every single troop boom oh my god there's still a cannon and a wizard tower remaining up there are you freaking kidding me not a big deal man my rc still has her ability i can pop it at this point and take out those last two defenses and then we just got cleanup I'll go ahead and drop an archer up there we got two freezes we didn't even need we still have a queen ability i go ahead and i could just pop it for time if i needed but you know what i think we're gonna be fine on time swag the last two freezes and on to the next base finally guys one more example of this army using that log long launcher instead of the blimp look at this man let's see where we're gonna go here we're gonna try and grand warden walk this part right up here looks like i want to enter right in on this multi-target inferno compartment now this is instead of being a one-sided approach like we saw with the last base as you can see each of these sides has some heavy stuff like king multi-target inferno compartment if we don't get this thing taken out then it's going to decimate my royal champion really limiting her ability to get some good value over here we got a single target inferno we know we can tank that really well with skeleton spells so i'm not that worried about it and if we wait till troops get in the core the enemy royal champion should be distracted by my core troops and therefore leave my royal champion to get plenty of value of course i could always come in from the queen side if i wanted to um in fact you know i should wait till my core troop kind of decides which way they want to go if they start distracting the royal champion if they're more on that side drop my royal champion on that side of the base and vice versa for the queen but let's be honest man i might need to play my my royal champion a little bit sooner than that to keep my troops focused more into the core of the base towards the town hall now enemy rc is already down you guys core troops took her out so that is going to be indeed the side that i dropped my royal champion on man we got skelly spells leading her in to that single target inferno in fact they should be just fine man look at this we even got an additional skeleton spell back there for the two defenses behind the single target inferno and look at this town hall man it does not want to go down that was such a dangerous section i'm gonna have to freeze it again so my queen can get the kill look at this dude the queen got distracted by skellies the town hall's gonna kill her oh my gosh queen went down so i popped the rc ability to finish off that last little bit of the town hall we got another skelly spell in here but honestly those defenses are already locked onto that pekka anyways man my rc is dealing with those enemy skeleton spells the unicorn and the rc are slowly dying to that poison it's making them so slow man oh my god i don't know if they're gonna survive one last shot for the expo and that is going to be just enough to squeak out the triple on this one man man that last section that town hall not going down to the queen certainly made me sweat guys it's a really fun army enjoy it i'll see you in the next video